A desert landscape has its own particular beauty. And as for this desert town, well, it might not be majestic, but Kubapedi certainly is unique. And people come from all over the world to this outpost of originals in the middle of nowhere. Of course, it's the opal that's made this town a mecca for serious miners and tourists alike. But the other draw card, the thing most visitors want to try, is a stint of cave dwelling. And there's a new kid under the block that's getting a huge following. Not flashy to look at from on top, but then that's Kuba to the core. The underground B&B is dug into a hillside on the outskirts of town. But inside it's anything but basic and has even picked up a Traveller's Choice Award from TripAdvisor. This two-bedroom apartment feels more like a sophisticated city pad than an outback stopover. The only hint you are under tons of rock is in the walls. Owners Ken and Anna Mail are pretty happy with guests' reactions. There's a few little things that people like about this room. Through that door, the light filters into the into a little bit of light into all of the rooms and we're totally underground by about five metres here. And it's the same when sleeping in here. It's a, it's a totally different environment to sleep in. It's dark, it's quiet, and as people say, we're supposed to check out by 10 o'clock, but they're still sleeping at 9 o'clock because they don't know what time of the day it is. The underground rooms are cleverly linked to the outside world with a living area under a veranda and an enormous above-ground dine-in kitchen. What surprised me most is the sense of space here. The rooms are enormous and the living area really makes it feel like a home. And there's a second apartment as well, this one with three bedrooms, but a slightly cosier, more traditional feel. Either suite would suit friends travelling together or whole families, and both offer refuge from the other thing Cooperpedia is famous for, the heat. Well, it feels like a breath of fresh air when you walk in the door. It's lovely. It, uh, it can go from 45 down to 22, 23 degrees. And you come in here and you sit down, you would feel like a beer out there, but when you come in here, you feel like a wine nilly. <laughs> <laughs>